I think that clearly this is the next person. Let me start from the gentleman who said that I, I, I suggest, I didn't suggest that there were no problems. I think that repeatedly I said that I wish that there, there was a life without problems. But the truth is that there is no life without problems. Britain is facing its own right now as we speak. I'm missing the debate whether they will change government tonight or not. So there's no, the grass is not green on the other side too. And uh, so there are problems. But you must decide in this country whether you want to continue to see devils or agents. I like to see agents. My glass is always half full. The problems are opportunities for me to show that nothing is wrong with us and to benchmark what I have achieved and say, if I can do this, I can do more. So there are problems without a doubt, and we must deal with them. But let me remind you, all of the assets that the Ministry of Power used to control for power have been sold by the last administration before I came. <laughs> so if you don't have power, it's not the government's problem. Let us be honest. The people who are operating the power sector, generation and distribution, are now privately owned companies. I am here because I am concerned. If your telephone is not working, it is not the Minister of Communication that you go to. Let us be very clear. So for those of you who want to weaponize electricity, Face the <laughs> businessmen who have taken it on. Let us be honest. If your bank overcharges you interest, is it the Minister of Finance you go to? So let's be clear. Here, this is now a private business. By Act of Parliament 2005, 